Hello there, I'm Dr. Chilawavian. I'm the doctor on call in the emergency department today. How may I help you? Ah, I see. And you're the primary caregiver of this banana? Hmm. Okay. All right. And there was an injury. I see. And what was the injury? You dropped the banana. I see. And where did you drop the banana? Fallen out of the grocery bag. Hmm. I've seen a lot of these cases recently. Um, it's worrisome. I'm not sure what's going on, but there seems to be an epidemic. Bananas falling out of grocery bags. This is a real problem. I'm glad you came when you did. Tell me about your banana specifically. Um, any past medical issues that I should be aware of? Bleeding disorders? Hmm. No, okay, good. It's, it's always good to start from that point. Now tell me, are there any allergies? No, good. Is your banana using any medications regularly? No, excellent. Now what about immunizations? Are your bananas immunizations up to date? Most importantly, tetanus. If there are any scratches or lacerations. There are. There is a laceration, no? Indeed. We'll have to have a closer look, certainly. Okay, tetanus shot is not up to date. All right, we'll have to make a note of that and ensure that we provide a tetanus shot. Tetanus would be nasty, and we've seen really horrible cases affecting bananas. All right, so what time approximately did this happen? Oh, I see. Oh, good. You're on top of things. And um, can you tell me about the extent of the injuries? Significant bruising. Mm. Any loss of consciousness? It's not conscious, I see. Okay. All right, that's a problem. We'll have to have a closer look. And there is a laceration, you say? Mm. Okay. All right. And you were able to provide basic first aid. Okay, a bandage. Perfect. All right, we'll have to have a closer look. All right. Okay. Is this the first banana injury you've been involved in? It is. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, you've come to the right place. Certainly my specialty is in repairing lacerations affecting bananas. Um, certainly um, the prognosis looks good, given that your banana is otherwise healthy um, and has not had any past medical problems, no past surgeries, no allergies, and no medications. Excellent. Now, um, uh, will you be present for the procedures today? Yes, good. I think it's important. Um, I'll keep you posted about how things are going as, as we move along. But I think at this point it'd be prudent for me to have a look at the banana. All right, let's have a look. Now I understand that this is the banana in question. Is that right? Well, on first in inspection, I'm able to see that this banana has been through a significant amount of trauma. Um, there's notable bruising throughout the trunk of the banana. Yes, I'm just, I'm just putting on gloves to ensure there's no risk of contamination or, or infection. So let's let's examine this banana further. I think it's it's be important at this point. All right. So I see you applied um, a bandage to this banana. I see there is a laceration underneath there. We'll have to have a closer look. Certainly, there's increased markings here to suggest a significant um, significant trauma. So a number of dints and dings here. Contusions, for example, um, some abrasion here. I believe that this is all an indication of um, a, a fairly significant fall. Uh, you were climbing stairs at the time. Wow. Well, that explains it, certainly. Um, I see the stem now of the banana also appears to have significant markings here. Did it land on the tip of the stem? Yes, it did. Wow. Of course. Well, I think um, other than a tetanus shot, I think the prudent thing to do here will be to repair this laceration. Um, let's have a closer look here. I'm just going to remove this bandage and we'll have a look, okay? Ah, yes. Okay. For the notes, um, it's important that we indicate here that we, we have a a well approximated, approximately 2.5 centimeter laceration here. Um, it will need um, sutures. I see that it is open. Um, 
we will need to um, do a, f a formal repair um, of this of this area here um, to ensure that there is no pain um, we will provide some um, local anesthetic um, I think believe that will help um, if it's all right with you I'd like to prepare um, by cleaning the area and and also um, performing um, um, some local anesthetic to ensure that the banana tolerates the procedure all right excellent so I'm going to set the banana aside and we will set up for our procedure here oh my goodness how's your day going otherwise uh, good running errands yes I suppose I suppose that's that's how the banana came to be injured mm. I'm sorry to hear that I'm deeply sorry to hear that no it's good that you came when you did I think that's what's prudent it's good that you came when you did yeah we'll do everything that we can for the banana I'm, I'm sure that we will be able to salvage much of the life of this banana set up a field here to work in excellent 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 perfect there's a bit of cushioning here that will support the banana where is it all right all right there's a good space to work with you've got some gauze here all right now I am what I'm going to start by doing is drawing up the anesthetic we've got xylocaine with epinephrine now listen the epinephrine is necessary at this point um, it's going to cause a local constriction of blood vessels proximal to the laceration which will allow us to do this repair without causing further bleeding was there much bleeding at the scene oh, good excellent well like i said it's good that you came when you did Yes, of course. We'll only need a small volume. There we are. Good. That should that should suffice. Excellent. Now we must change the needle. The gauge on that one is would be far too painful. Excellent. All right. Now we'll do a further clean a little a little bit more once we've once we've um, got the anesthetic in. But to ensure tolerance here, I'm just going to provide a bit of a bit of cleaning here. We've seen a number of these go septic, unfortunately. Yes, well, I'm, I'm afraid that that is a risk. Infection is, is, a, is a nasty thing. We've seen Staph aureus and Streptococcus, Enterococcus, a number of different horrible things. All right. All right, now bear with me. It's going to hurt a little bit, but once the freezing kicks in, you'll feel much better. All right, here we go. There we go, good. Good infiltration of tissue. Tracking along the wound. Yes, of course. All right. A little bit more on this side. Yes, I'm, I know I'm certain it burns, but it's necessary. Right along through that wound. It's going to help significantly. I'll do this side as well. Brilliant. All right. We'll give that a moment. And that should certainly help. Let's clean up here. Perfect. Excellent. Mm. This banana has been through quite a trauma. Oh my goodness. Oh, it must have been horrible to witness. Gosh. Well, you, like I said, you've done the right thing. You've come here. There's quite a, quite a lot we can do. All right. I'm going to continue to get set up here. Excellent. We've got uh, some sutures. All right. important 
while this is working here that we do a bit of gentle irrigation to ensure that we're cleaning that wound out. So we'll just rinse with saline. Good, 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 good. Yes, some gentle irrigation. Perfect. Just in case. We'll explore the wound to ensure there's no foreign body. No, it certainly looks clean. It looks well approximated. No tendons are involved. It doesn't go down to bone. We won't need an x-ray today. Excellent. All right. The freezing should be well, well in order now. I'd like to go ahead and start if you're all right with it. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I'm going to change my gloves. To we need to be very cautious that we're avoiding infection of any kind. once they're already on, but we must put them on and stare away. Excellent. Brilliant. Now, let us begin. I must say, this banana is tolerating this quite well. We've seen some tragic cases recently of bananas who did not tolerate it at all. All right. The tissue is soft. This is going to be very challenging. We need to take large bites of the tissue. And we'll have to be very gentle not to tear the tissue. Oh, we've already torn it. Let's pull that through. Let's do another one. Oh my goodness. This is going to be impossible, near impossible to repair. We must be very gentle. not pull it straight through. It's very fine. Indeed, it's very fine. But as long as we get a couple small knots, I will be satisfied. Perfect. Indeed, this is going to be challenging. This is probably one of the youngest bananas we've seen in here with this. If you can imagine. All right. Perfect. The first knot is done. Your banana is tolerating it very well. I'm impressed. Ah, oh, you must have done some coaching before coming in. Brilliant. Hmm. 
Yes, we should talk about important things like um, what, how long to keep these stitches in for. Well, I would say, as a typical, um, most appropriately would be seven to ten days, given the extent of the wound here and how soft the tissue is. You know, your banana appears to be getting quite a lot of movement in the world. As a result, it'll be a much higher risk for tearing open dehiscence of the wound, which of course will increase risk of infection. And so we must prevent that at all costs. Perfect. Wonderful. Excellent. Brilliant. One more stitch, I believe, should do it. Mm. Yes, I have not forgotten about the tetanus shot. Of course, we will do that. And I will provide a dressing once we're through. Have you got a family doctor? No. Hmm. Pity. Well, you'll need to re return here to the emergency department. Seven to ten days. We'll check the wound, ensure that it's healed, and we'll remove those stitches. Absolutely. This is no problem at all. There we are. Brilliant. Brilliant. We got it done. The wound is, is sutured. It'll heal nicely. Fresh bandage. Yes, good. Just like that. Keep it clean. Do not get it wet of any kind in the next 24 hours. We'll give you bandages you can take home. Absolutely. All right. It's time for the tetanus shot. Ready? We've got a good volume here. A good volume. Of, uh, yes, the, the, the vaccine is going to be very helpful. Let's go directly into the posterior aspect of the banana. All right, and boop, we're in. We're now infiltrating a substantial amount of vaccine. Excellent. Perfect. Done. Good as new. Perfect. Excellent. So this banana is now cured. Um, I advise taking it very easy for the next few days. Tylenol for pain as needed. Um, you may apply ice. I advise keeping the banana elevated for the next 24 to 48 hours. And um, of course, um, Getting adequate sleep will be absolutely essential, but by all means, no further injuries, no further injuries, no falls. All right, this banana should heal up well. All right, no, absolutely not, free of, free of charge. We, we certainly do not charge anything. This, this type of thing is covered and we're happy to help. All right, absolutely. All right, make sure you return seven to 10 days. Excellent. All right. Take care. All right. You too. Thank you. Goodbye.